with the end of March of the Mystics and the inauguration of Hupro, let's run up the news from the past Unum on today's episode of The Dark Crystal Conjunction. Well, hi to y'all, and welcome to The Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space turned nerd out about all things The Dark Crystal. Not many updates today, but let's dive into the news. The Amazon listing for J.M. Lee's Song of the Seven Gelfling Clans was updated, giving us a preview of 10 more pages. If you can recall last month, we only got four pages, which I shouldn't say only. I'm very glad we got those four pages, and we got the cover. So let me refresh your memory on what this upcoming release is as I flash these 10 pages up here. Again, I cannot wait for this book. I'm very excited about it. It reads, Many trying to go. A song teller sought to explore the world of Thra and uncover the secrets of the Gelfling throughout the Seven Clans. Venture back in time with photos, sketches, and art from Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance in this exclusive collectible book for Dark Crystal fans everywhere. End quote. It is already available for pre-order, $20.20 US dollars, that is, for the hardcover and $12.99 Kindle. All 224 pages of the 7x9 inch Penguin Young Reader will be dropping July 28th, 2020. Granted, there's no uh, delays or anything like that, as some things have been getting delayed. But we'll keep an eye on that, and I'll let you know if anything changes. But again, links for everything we talk about will be in the description, so check it out for yourself on Amazon. In the comics world, last Unum, we got issue number 7 of the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, which continues the great little prequel story of Hup going from cook to squire, to eventually wanting to become a paladin like we see in Age of Resistance, the Netflix show. This series continues to just be great, and I cannot wait for issue number 8 to drop. It was originally scheduled to come out April 29th, 2020, but with the Diamond Distributors, who are the ones who distribute the comics, they pretty much have the monopoly on it, in America at least, announcing in the last weeks that it would temporarily see shipments to comic book stores as a result of the coronavirus for an unknown time, at least 8 to 10 weeks, last I heard. In the meantime, let me encourage you to keep doing what you can to support your local comic book store. They're really the ones that keep comic books alive. And so, you know, if we want to see more material come out from these, it's important that we keep supporting the little guy, if you will. That's how the comic book industry works. So uh, maybe you can catch up on older Dark Crystal comics. There's plenty of them out there. I have a reading list and I am going to update my reading list pretty soon. But check out your local comic book store. You know, some of them are doing free deliveries. I know mine is doing free deliveries and having a lot of $1 sales. So you may find some great older Dark Crystal comics that you haven't caught up yet on or read. Um, now's a good time to dive in while, you know, kind of new stuff has ceased. But in the meantime, I'll keep you all updated when we get that new one. So last month, we also did get the main and varied covers for issue number 10. And again, they look really cool, really good as always. But what on Thra is that? Another cancelled item we were going to be getting this month was the Dark Crystal Age Resistance two-picture disc pressing. One would feature the Ariel and the other the Crystal Chamber. This would have come out on Record Store Day, which is April 18th, 2020. Days after this announcement, they tweeted out, quote, Due to an unforeseen manufacturing delay, our picture disc release for the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance and Mortal Kombat soundtracks will unfortunately no longer be part of Record Store Day 2020, end quote. No release date yet, but at least now we know that we are going to get a picture disc. If you saw my review of the Age of Resistance soundtrack, you saw usually like to wait until we get the picture disc, but there's no telling when they were going to come out for this or even if they were. So I'm actually pretty surprised that we are going to be getting it that soon. Of course, it is delayed but at least we know we're getting it. But speaking of music and age resistance, on April the 1st, which is of course April Fool's Day, the official Dark Crystal channel said, quote, Hup the Poddling Sensation is back with another album of chart-topping tunes. Hup the Paladin, whose motto is, Half Spoon Will Travel, is the biggest selling pop artist on Thra, available now, end quote. All these titles look great, it's kind of funny, they really just took famous songs that had the word moon in them and put the word spoon in them. But I did wind up making a playlist of all the Earth versions of this song, if you will. Uh, of course, I started with the best of Hup, a little four minute video from Netflix. But you know, this will introduce you to a lot of new music. I think different generations may have not heard some of the songs on here. Lots of really cool stuff, but so just kind of something fun I put together as part of their April Fool's Day joke. So enjoy that. But, but again, I know it was just a part of an April Fool's Day joke, but I would be totally okay if they actually came out with something like this. It'd be really great. 
Well, enough about things that we're not getting or aren't real. Let's talk about something that we can get. If you remember a couple months back, I highlighted the death-saves.com collection and their dark crystal line. Death Saves makes incredible clothing, some of my favorite. And if you've seen my video review on it, you know that I love these shirts. I love, I mean, it's just high quality stuff. It is pricey, it is expensive, I won't deny that. But you get what you pay for. It is quality. This seems like something that's going to last me a lifetime. Most comfortable shirts, I hear the hoodies are just as comfortable and really great and really cozy. Right now, they are having a 50% off sale. So now's the time to buy if you were kind of waiting because I doubt you'll ever find these as inexpensive again. Another cool thing we got was the first Q&A panel from the official Dark Crystal convention that took place in February, if you remember, the Great Conjunction. This panel that we got was the creation of Thra a fascinating insight into the creation of the characters from the Dark Crystal, from concept to construction, featuring, from right to left, Tim Clark, Wendy Froud, Brian Froud, Valerie Charlton, and John Copinger, moderated by Tobias Rowe. Of course, that was held at Elstree Studios, if you recall, February 8th, 2020. Elstree Studios is where the film was originally shot at. So, really cool historical moment, and I'm really glad they made that video available for all of us to see. So really that's it. Not much news this month and I don't expect that we're going to have any more news coming up later, but I will always try to keep us updated. I do hope to try to come out with more videos, but things have been extra, extra busy for me with the family at home and schooling and things like that from this kind of shut-in. So again, appreciate y'all's patience with me and y'all continue to just be a wonderful community to be a part of. Until next time, keep exploring Thraw.